it's documentary. I know you've done documentaries before. So how did this one differ for you? Unlike any of the other movies I've done, I was given a large portion of the footage. So I inherited 1,300 hours of footage that were shot over the course of four years. And then I was about trying to shape the story, craft it, whittle it down, um, and, and try to make the most cohesive story out of all of that footage. What about it really spoke to you? Why did you decide that this was a film you wanted to work on? My father is uh, Muhammad Ali's lawyer. And I grew up um, around Muhammad and his wife, Lonnie, who are kind of personal heroes of my own. And when I first went and met uh, Steve and Michelle, I could see just like they had the same charisma and energy. And, and there, was, there was like a parallel there that I thought was so powerful. I met Steve about 13 years ago. He came to um, a Pearl Jam concert. Uh, we were playing somewhere through a mutual friend. And he was this kind of a understated, long-haired, kind of a hippie yet a football player and, uh, and was very quiet and he would he'd subsequently come to our shows over the years and as he got diagnosed I became more a friend of his. I was in the Niners playing against him and he literally made every special teams tackle on the field. He was like a maniac out there. That was my first real impression of Steve. Um, how much he could turn a game around just on special teams. He was always um, not just about football and was always branching out, trying to be himself, be, and he always has known himself, always known what he won, and he's always brought people in sh and shared it. I think it just starts with friendship, and he's one of those special guys that just has so many friends around him, you know, friends who want to be a part of the journey. He's a charismatic guy who, um, who just wants to make impact. Um, so again, to be on that journey with him is just, it, it, it's a joy, even with the pain and everything that's come with this, it's an absolute joy. I think there's no better way to take his story to the masses than with a film like this that I think is going to resonate with a lot of people. I just really wanted to be a part of telling the story and, and help getting the message out about ALS and, and, and uh, the struggles that they go through. I hope it also gives them, gives them some sort of hope that you know, Steve is out there trying to advocate for everyone that has ALS and, and to get the type of uh, things that they need to survive. This message, really this man, Steve, is um, incredible. His wife, Michelle. Um, you'll see in the film is like absolutely it's another level so it's just I get the chills even thinking about it yeah I just really believe in the spirit in Steve it's always been there and it's stayed the exact same